Okay, this is a video app review of LazyTube brought to you by the developer LazyWorm. This version 2.1 was used for this review. First thing I want to show you is that uh, if you search LazyWorm on the marketplace, apps and game search, you're going to come up with two. One says YouTube, one says LazyTube. Now, they are one and the same at this point. Version 2.1 brought them together. They have the exact same features. The YouTube is completely free. LazyTube is 99 cents. I believe YouTube, uh, the free version, is also non-ad based, so it's uh, exactly the same. The developer promises in the future to add more features to the LazyTube paid version, so if you want to support them, go ahead and get that, and in the future you'll have better options. All right, another thing I want to show you, as you all, most of you should know, uh, the built-in YouTube app that Microsoft provided at release was just a link to the mobile site, and let's admit it, it sucked. Also, I'm, if, as you can see here, I'm not on Wi-Fi, and I wanted to show you, if you don't already know, and I'm not going to move the phone to widescreen, but when you're playing a video through the YouTube app built in, what you know about your it's low quality, it's not full screen, it basically sucked. When you're out, when you're not home, showing a video to friends, it was kind of embarrassing. So there are several applications out there available. I'm going to be reviewing several of them here in the next few days. The first one is going to be LazyTube. All right, first thing you see here is a really good graphical interface. It starts up with the featured, and you can just swipe with the Metro interface. You can do a search, and I'm, I'm logged into a demo account uh, so that you can see I favorited a few videos. Look at that, two of those are mine and I have a subscription to WM Power User. And then you can go to Most Viewed and Top Rated. Uh, and you can do that search by date as well. Top Rated this month, this week, all time. Now, when I'm doing a search, let's bring back, yeah, let's try WM Power User. And it uh, reminding, I just want to remind you this is all on 3G for a reason. Because 3G brought us HD video through the Lazy Worm app. I wanted to show you how this works. And for the most part, it's pretty quick. Now I can click right there and pause it. This is an old video, this is the one that's gotten the most hits. And if I move it sideways, it's going to go full screen. And I can press play. Now, the great part of this is finally we have the option to seek with our finger through the seek slider. Much better. And even though it's not loaded, I can seek all the way past where it's loaded, and it will start up pretty darn quick if I just press play. And of course, it won't work. All right, so uh, there's a full screen option if it's not already. You can lock it so that it will not rotate, and you have volume options. Go And then you have the HQ icon, which you can turn off. All right, one thing you'll notice is that it did not go to a website first and then load the video which made it so much faster and it's what some of the old ones did all right and also as you can see it's fully supported in widescreen uh, you can go to author once you view a video you can see what other, what their other videos are and it's sorted by the most recent you can comment on that video and you can like or dislike i'm going to like it if you go down you can view the description of the video you can see other videos that are related. Just very, very convenient, convenient options within the video. Let's go back to the other format, and let's go back. All right, going to favorites. I favorited a video uh, by Philip DeFranco, and it shows up. Now, one of the things I don't like, subscriptions. If I go to his video, I'm going to pause it when it starts loading. As you can see, 3G is definitely slower than Wi-Fi. But I wanted to show you that it does work in HQ. There is no option here on this page. I've looked all over 
no option. You can favorite the video, but you can't subscribe to the channel. So that's a drawback. And the other drawback that I've found is that uh, you can't download the video to your phone for viewing when you are uh, out of a cell phone reception. Um, not a huge deal. I believe it is an option that they are adding soon. But uh, as for positives, like I've mentioned, as you can see, the performance is great. It has improved a lot over previous versions. The search is powerful. And let me show that to you real quick, if I didn't already. You can search, and then uh, you can click here for time. So let's see what new WM Power Users videos have shown up this week. And it tells you over here how many days old it is, if it's new. It'll tell you with the little green tab how many people have liked it or disliked it. Uh, as you can see, most of these videos are fairly popular. You can also sort by relevance, most recent, most viewed, and top rated. Between the time options and these options, you can really narrow down what you're looking for. Very nice. Under settings, really good options to take off parts of the Metro interface you're not interested in using. And uh, you can change the video streaming quality to default to low. I recommend HQ because it works even on halfway decent 3G. I don't have good 3G here, and as you can see, it worked just fine. You can click and drag and move around uh, the order of the Metro interface options that you would like as well. Um, I would like an option to uh, not put the videos I used in, put the videos I watched in the history. Um, but as you can see here in the music and videos, uh, there's the history. That's a Philip DeFranco video. And then if you go over here, it is here as LazyTube in the marquee section. Okay, so that pretty much covers it. I've given you the positives and the negatives. The bottom line is I'm giving it a score of 8 to 10. Once they add the ability to download the videos to the phone, and once Mango comes out, we may have the ability to actually save those videos to our computers, unknown at this time. But uh, that's also not available even on apps that do allow you to download them, which I will review soon. And then you can't subscribe to a channel. But pretty much that's all. I give it an 8 out of 10. And uh, stay tuned because uh, I'm going to be re reviewing two more YouTube applications shortly in the next couple days. Thanks a lot.